This is questions and answers on literature in English. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Connect with us on Facebook and Twitter at Funumu Education. Also check out other subjects and playlists on Funumu Education. 1. This question is based on Faceless by Amadarko. What is the reason that caused Odarli's mother to send him away from home? A. She chose to go to the street. B. Her mother remarried. C. She steals her mother's things. D. She wants to poison her boyfriend. The answer is B. 2. Dash in literature is the sequential arrangement of events in a creative work. A. Cast. B. Summary. C. Flaw. D. Plot. The answer is D. 3. This question is based on Frank Ago do Obiche's Harvest of Corruption. Who impregnated Aloho? A. The Commissioner. B. Chief Haledu. C. Justice Odili. D. Inspector Inaku. The answer is B. 4. This question is based on Bar Yor. A's Lonely Days. Yaoremi's main job is. A. Selling cassava. B. Harvesting cassava. C. Dyeing taffeta cloths. D. Sewing taffeta cloths. The answer is C. 5. I can stand well enough and I speak well enough. The excerpt above exemplifies dash. A. Synecdoche. B. Euphemism. C. Repetition. D. Irony. The answer is C. 6. Choose the most appropriate stress pattern from the options. The stressed syllables are written in capital letters Judiciary. A. Judiciary. B. Judiciary. C. Judiciary. D. Judiciary. The answer is D. 7. This question is based on Amadarko's faceless. The street phenomenon in the novel is a universal theme because A. It only occurs in Ghana B. It could be found only in Africa C. It is common to almost all nations of the world D. The novel is read in all parts of the world The answer is C. 8. This question is based on William Shakespeare's Othello. According to the highest estimate, how many ships in the Turkish fleet were said to head for the island of Cyprus? A. 107 B. 230 C. 200 D. 140 The answer is B. 9. This question is based on literary appreciation. How wonderful it is that nobody need wait a single moment before starting to improve the world and Frank the diary of a young girl. The writer of the passage above is Dash. A. Assertive. B. Retrogressive. C. Optimistic. D. Antagonistic. The answer is A. 10. This question is based on general literary principles. An example of a narrative poem is dash A. Elegy B. Epic C. Dirge D. Sonnet The answer is B. 11. This question is based on literary principles. Arthur Jailer made little or me. He was one of the many struggled in order to feed their families. He seemed to be very much controlled by the other two. Ileshi Amadi's Sunset in Biafra The speaker's attitude towards the jailer in the passage above is that of A. Admiration B. Condemnation C. Spite D. Respect The answer is C. 12. This question is based on general literary principles. 
a literary device wherein the author places a person, concept, idea, or theme parallel to another is dash. A. Illusion. B. Juxtaposition. C. Symbolism. D. Memoir. The answer is B. 13. This question is based on Frank Agato Okbiche's Harvest of Corruption. The play portrays the judiciary as a. Unserious and lenient. b. Consistent and just. c. Corrupt and weak. d. Patronizing and self-righteous. The answer is c. 14. This question is based on general literacy principles. A prose work which centers on moral growth and character formation of an individual is called a. Psychological novel b. Picaresque c. Autobiography d. Satirical novel The answer is a. 15. This question is based on Amadarko's Faceless. The narrative style adopted in the novel is a. Second persons b. Third person c. Interior monologue D. First person The answer is B. 16. This question is based on selected poems from Johnson, R. Edel, Ed. New Poetry from Africa, Soyinka, Ed. Poems of Black Africa, Sananu, K. E. and Vincent, T. Ed. A selection of African poetry, Amishola A. Naked Solace, Hayward, J. Ed. The Penguin Book of English Verse and Nwoga, D. Ed. West African Verse. If goodness lead him not, yet weariness may toss him to my breast. The literary device in the extract above from Herbert's The Pulley is A. Metonymy B. Personification C. Oxymoron D. Irony The answer is B. 17. This question is based on William Shakespeare's Othello. Fathers, from hence trust not your daughters' minds. By what you see them act. Is there not charms? By which the property of youth and maidhood may be abused. The speaker in the excerpt above addresses dash. A. Othello. B. Lago. C. Brabantio. D. Rodrigo. The answer is C. 18. This question is based on Frank Agodo Ogbiche's Harvest of Corruption. The two dominant themes of the play are A. Honesty and Decency. B. Immorality and Greed. C. Poverty and Education. D. Weeding and Planting. The answer is B. 19. Choose the option that has the same rhymes with the given word. Pad. A. Paid. B. Mail. C. Mat. D. Made. The answer is C. 20. Carrying a heavy bundle of tightly wrapped bits and pieces of junk drooping over his face. The excerpt above exemplifies dash. A. Irony. B. Synecdoche C. Symbolism D. Euphemism The answer is C.